Good morning, it's one o'clock. This is Newswatch. I'm Alan King. John Major has put his job and perhaps his government on the line after losing vote on Maastricht. Then, amid extraordinary scenes in the House of Commons, the Prime Minister stood up to announce his next step. He tabled a vote of confidence in his government. That will be voted on later today. If he wins, the Maastricht Treaty is ratified. If he loses, he'll call a general election. The votes looked like this. The first ended in a dead heat. 317 for the government. 317 against. The government won because of the Speaker's casting vote. Then came the second vote, which the government lost by eight votes. 316 for the government, 324 against. The eyes to the right, 317. The nose to the left, 317. The drama of the moment could not have been better demonstrated than by the result. A remarkable dead heat. The House in uproar, it left the Labour Speaker Betty Boothroyd with no choice but to cast her deciding vote with the government. The eyes to the right, 317. The nose to the left, 317. The numbers being equal, it's my duty to cast my vote. It is not the function of the chair to create a majority on a policy issue where no majority exists amongst the rest of the House. In accordance with precedent, I therefore cast my vote with the nose. Yeah. The nose yeah. have it. Order unlock. The decider had been apparently a last minute deal between the government and the Ulster Unionists, but it wasn't enough. The eyes to the right, three, one, six. The nose to the left, three, two, four. But it wasn't enough. To follow was the nightmare scenario most feared by the government. A double negative vote, leaving Maastricht in limbo. The tangible excitement of the moment in the Commons was now physically apparent as MPs surged forward. Will members now, there are seats available, will members please move back? Behind the bar, onto their seats. The <laughs> grave faced Prime Minister then rose to his feet to announce a vote of confidence in the government. We clearly cannot leave the matter there. Tonight's debate has shown that there's no majority in this House for the United Kingdom to join the social chapter. There is, however, there is, however, there is, however, as we know, a majority of this House in favour of ratifying the Maastricht Treaty. I therefore, I therefore invite the opposition parties who say that they support ratification and that they respect the opinion of this House to reconsider their position. Madam Speaker, in, in any case, Madam Speaker, we must resolve this issue and it cannot be permitted to fester any longer. I therefore give notice that the government will invite the House to come to a resolution tomorrow in support of the government's policy on the social chapter by putting down a motion of confidence in the following terms that this House has confidence in the policy of Her Majesty's Government on the adoption of the Protocol on Social Policy. The opposition leader was quick to capitalise on his position, saying Labour's campaign for the social chapter would continue uninterrupted.